What's going on, everybody? I'm back. Uh, recording success, so I'm just gonna continue. Um, we just killed our first enemy, the troll. Uh, took his axe, and we're in the troll room. So, I pretty much scoured everything in, uh, to the east in my own time, like, in the last video, but I guess I can show you. So, uh, if we head east through the hole in the wall, we'll be at the east-west passage. If we head east again, we'll appear in the round room, uh, which is, uh, blocked in pretty much all directions. If we head south, which I have not actually done, we'll appear in the narrow passage. Long corridor, where a long north-south passage briefly narrows even further. writing on my map as uh, as I progress so if we go south we can uh, mirror room pretty interesting not been here by all uh, you're in a large square square room and I'm in a circle I feel so stupid it's a square alright a large square room with tall ceilings on the south wall is an enormous mirror which fills the entire wall there are exits on a the other three sides of the room. So north is where it came from, and there's the east and west. So now we'll just break mirror with our sword. Uh, you have broken the mirror. I hope you have seven, seven years supply of good luck. Uh, search mirror. Find nothing in here. Alright. Uh, search behind the mirror. Can you do that? Alright, alright, so let's go east. Um, the cave. Uh, this is a tidy, this is a tidy cave entrance. Uh, with an entrance west and north and a dark forbidding staircase leading down. Um, your sword is glowing with a faint blue. So, um, so we can't even 
and can we enter? So invisible force prevents you from passing through the gate. Well, that's probably for the best. Uh, I don't really want to go through there, I'm going to be honest. Let's go back up. The sword is going faint blue glow. That's probably from... Oh, what's it called? So if we had noise feedback, back into Miriam. Alright. So I guess it just... Our sword apparently, like, I don't know for sure, but my guess is it glows when there's, like, an evil presence or a bad guy. Um, it has so far, so maybe in the mirror room, if I, like, look in the mirror, maybe I, I just have a feeling, like, maybe my reflection would have attacked me. Uh, I was just playing Kingdom Hearts 2, where you fight your own, like, mirrored reflection and waterfall. And that's, like, my only thought. Um, and when I'm in the cave, it's probably because I'm near the entrance of Hades, and when I'm in Hades, practically, it's probably why. Oh, wait. If we head north, we should be back in the narrow passage, right? If we head north again, we should be in the round room, right? Oh, wait. If we head east, we'll go to the loud room, where it's difficult to hear. You're not able to do anything. There's a platinum, platinum bar on the floor, but if we try to take it, um, take the bar, uh, all you can do is, like, kind of echoes in your mind, because you're just not able to, like, you know, think of what to do. Um, if you head east, you appear in the damp cave, which exits, blah blah blah. Uh, there's a big crack, but you're not able to go down, it's too narrow for most insects. I don't know why it would kind of say that, like, why would point out a random crack in the hole, in the, in the wall? Um, but like, if we can get something to widen a crack, I mean, I guess we can do it. Uh, if we go east again, we'll do the white, white Cliffs Beach, um, which we can go south on, but just more beach, nothing is there. So we go back and uh, go west, west to the left. If we go north, what? Hold on, let me look. Fuck, am I west? The round room. What, what if we have north there? Not south passage, alright. And then we go north again to the chasm. Alright. Oh, I'm stupid. We can go. Eh. Let me, I just kind of want to do this for myself just to make sure. So we have something that will be acting around. Um, uh, east to the loud room. And I meant to say up. Yes, up. Stairs. It's up, not, uh, not north. Um, like upstairs. So we're in the deep canyon. Now up here it gets it was uh, difficult for me to make my map until I found out that the reservoir south connects to the deep canyon. It makes a huge big circle loop. Um so we're at the deep canyon. If we go to the east, we'll be at the dam. Uh flood control three. You can pause it if you want to read all this, mainly, it, most of the time it just says the layout of, like, the area, like, where entrances are and stuff, and if it's in a new area, I'll read it myself. So you're standing on top of Flood Control 3, damn, um, locations of doors and stuff, which I have written down, water's pouring over the top of the now abandoned dam, there's a control panel here, which a large metal bolt is mounted directly above the bolt is a small green plastic bubble. I don't know what that means. But, uh, if we go to the, to the east, or the, the base, um, we, we can't go west for some reason, like the same direction, but we go north, we go back to the dam. Oh, uh, there's a small plastic, there's a pile of plastic and a valve attached to it. Um, go back to the dam, we go north, we're in the dam lobby, so we can take the match book that is there. I... the load is too heavy. That's my image. Oh, let's just drop the axe. The big bloody axe. My bad. So I'm gonna get mad, but I don't want to blame that on but me. Drop the axe. Uh, take match. Book. Good. Alright. We go north. We're in the maintenance room. Uh, let's take the red. Alright, cool. And, uh, the, the tube of toothpaste is just, uh, it says, like, random goop. Like, goop something or other. Um, 
we're about 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna cut and make sure everything's working. Uh, I'll be right back. Um, actually, I'm probably gonna split this into another episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace!